Did Jesus really rise from the dead? You know, that is a question on which the whole Christian faith hinges. The Apostle Paul himself, he said that if Jesus didn't rise from the dead, then Christians are to be the most pitied of all people, that our faith is futile, it's useless. But if Jesus did rise from the dead, then our faith has ultimate significance. So this is a question that everybody has to consider. And when we look at a question like this, we want to look at evidence, don't we? And it might surprise you to know that there is quite a bit of evidence that could point to the fact that Jesus rose from the dead. So firstly, eyewitness accounts. We have the Gospels. And you're probably thinking, well, the Gospels, surely they're a bit biased. But actually, atheist and Christian historians alike see the Gospels as credible historical sources. They cannot easily be dismissed. They are reliable. And so we have the Gospels, the eyewitness accounts. We also have the empty tomb to consider. And the fact is the body of Jesus was never found. And, and the, the empty tomb and the fact that the tomb was empty would have been well known in the ancient world, the first and second centuries, and people would have come to their own conclusions as to what that meant. Did the disciples steal the body away? Did they evade the Roman soldiers and manage to hide the body from everyone else so it was never found? I don't know, I'm not convinced. Um, and actually, Michael Grant, who is an atheist classicist, said the historian cannot justifiably deny the empty tomb. If we apply the same sort of criteria we apply to other ancient literary sources, the evidence is firm and plausible enough to necessitate the conclusion the tomb was indeed found empty. But why was it empty? And then finally, the disciples themselves look at their lives. You know, they, they were willing to stake their lives on the fact that Jesus was risen from the dead and they went round telling everybody. And ultimately, they didn't care whether they were beaten, outcast, tortured, imprisoned or even killed. They never cracked. They never once said, actually, do you know what? We made it all up. But they went to death um, and, and staked their lives on this truth. Uh, and so finally, the church today, many, many people around the world who would say they've met the risen Lord Jesus, their lives have been transformed through a relationship with him. So what do you think? What do you think is the most compelling evidence that Jesus rose from the dead out of this? You know, whether you believe it or not, um, what is it that you'd want to explore further? Maybe let us know in the comments below. Hello everyone, I'm Katie. And I'm Mark. And we're from Willsburg Baptist Church. And we're starting conversations that matter. If you'd like to continue the conversation, then click the link in the description or comment down below. And also feel free to let us know what conversations matter to you. 